Adding and Removing Leaders. Let's learn how to add additional leaders to our already existing multi-leaders. In order to do that, we can come here to the Annotation panel under the Home tab and use this icon here. Pull out the menu and find Add Leader as well as Remove Leader. We can also come to the Annotate tab, Leaders panel, and we find the same icons, Add and Remove. Let's go ahead and try and add some leaders. If you select this, AutoCAD Next asks us to select a multi-leader. I'll go ahead and use this one here, Corner. Now as you can see, I can add additional leaders. I can place one here at this corner and continue placing more here, here, and even over here. Now when I move to the other side, you see it automatically puts one on the left instead of the right. So now I can put a leader here and another leader here. If you read the command line, it also says to specify leader arrowhead or remove a leader. I can select remove leaders or right click and select the same option here, remove leaders. I'll go ahead and choose that now. Now AutoCAD is asking us to specify the leaders to remove. I have a lot of leaders here. Let's remove these ones that are on the circle and the line. All you have to do is click on that one, click on that one, and then click on that one. And then once I'm done, I can press enter. And my leaders are removed. You can also start by removing leaders in the first place. Let's go ahead and use that command here and remove these leaders on the right side. Here, here, and maybe this one on the left. Here. I'll go ahead and press enter. And there, I removed the leaders. Let's add those back though, just for practice. Add a leader. Next, you select the multi-leader you want to have more additional leaders attached to. And now you can keep adding your leaders. Here, and here. And then once you're done, you can press enter. And there you go. We've just added and removed some leaders.